Hey everyone, Lucas here. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about Google Drive. I'm going to talk to you about how you can back up your important files to Google Drive by simply uploading them. We have an unlimited amount of storage as a school district, so this is a great way to back up your important files and really way better than the Share Drive because you can access those files from anywhere, uh, from any computer connected to the internet. And I'm also going to show you how to organize and arrange those files and some other cool features of Google Drive while we're at it. So let's jump in. So um, I'm assuming you've opened up your Google Chrome web browser. Um, and if you haven't logged into the Chrome web browser, um, you may want to go ahead and log into your email um, or log into some other Google product. This will give you access. And you'll see at the top here, you'll have um, your typical uh, Google menus here, or it may, you may even have it in your hotbar in your browser itself. So to get to Google Drive, there's a few ways that we can do it. To start with, um, the easiest way is to simply click the uh, application launcher. I call it the waffle because it looks kind of like a waffle. So if I click that, I'm going to look for the Google Drive icon. Uh, the Google Drive icon looks kind of like a triangle. Um, I can do that that way. That's one way. Or I can simply type in drive.google.com. So now I've already got my Google Drive open. So let me show you a couple things that you can do when you're in Google Drive. First off, we'll talk about how you can upload your files. So let's say you want to back up all those important lesson plans, um, those important uh, presentations and things that you've done. This is a really good idea because um, storing your files, important files in the cloud, uh, really gives them a lot of, lot more security as far as um, you're not risking losing them um, because you'll be able to access them from any computer. So even if your computer crashes, it gets run over uh, by a Mac truck or something crazy like that, um, you'll still have your files and you're not going to lose them. So it's always important to back things up and Google Drive is a great way to do that. So let's talk about how to do it. The first thing, let's say you've got a, a folder that you've got a lot of files organized in. Well, it's very simple to upload an entire folder to your Google Drive. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on the new button here in the upper left. And I'm going to come down to folder upload. Now that's going to launch um, your search your computer, search your hard drive, your C drive, whatever. Um, mine looks a little different maybe than yours because I'm on a Mac, but the, the idea is the same. You've done this before. So I'm going to look for that folder. Well, mine's right here. I have it on my desktop. Um, lesson plans for September 2015, and I'm just simply going to click upload. This little upload uh, dialog will pop up in the bottom, and you'll see uh, its progress. And then it'll tell you when it's been uploaded. It'll say, hey, that September 2015 file has been uploaded to my drive. So you can click X when you're done with that. And you can see it right here at the top of all of my folders. So there I've just backed up an entire folder of files from my laptop or my desktop computer up to the cloud. If anything happens to that computer, they're still there. That's what's awesome about it. Okay, so let's say I want to upload an individual file um, and rather than an entire folder. Again, same process. Just click New, um, File Upload instead of Folder Upload. But there's a cool thing about Go the new Google Drive that makes it even easier than that. So you'll see here that I've got my desktop showing behind this window here. Let's say I want to upload this file from a workshop that I did on Twitter a while back and make sure that I have it backed up in Google Drive. Watch this. This is this easy. I simply click, drag, move it over there and look Google Drive says hey you want to upload this yes I do so I simply drop it and Google Drive's upload it has uploaded it to my drive now it even gives me this cool option to locate that file so I can click locate and it's gonna highlight it right there for me pretty cool now the cool thing about it is and after you get a few uh, files up there things might get a little crazy and, and you're like where are my files so let me show you a couple ways that you can both organize and find the files that are important to you so the first thing is remember that this is a Google product and Google um, has some amazing search capabilities I can search for keywords um, in any of the files that I have um, in my Google Drive and they will come up um, just simply by searching so watch if I type in September every single file that has September either in the text or in the title will show up here and I can very quickly upload or access that all right, but that's not what I want to do. So there's a couple other things that are neat. Let's say I want to put this into that folder that I just uploaded. So one easy way to do that is to simply grab the file and then I can drag it and make sure that I have, I'm holding down my mouse button, mouse over um, the folder that I want to drop it in and simply drop it in like that. And then if I look, hey, there it is. That file is now in that folder. Um, very simple. 
All right, let's talk a little bit about um, some other things uh, about Google Drive, about how it's organized, how you can change the view and stuff like that. Um, you'll notice in this bar, this region right here, um, I have a couple of options. One is I can change to the grid view. Now, I typically like the list view. That's a personal preference. You may like the larger icons with the thumbnails, and if you want that, just simply click to the list view. The list view will take your folders and make them these little uh, rectangular things at the top, and then your files that aren't organized into folders will show up like this. And again, organizing files is a cinch. I can simply drag a box around those and move them around just like that. So I selected a four files, and I'm just going to drop them right into that folder. Now, I look at it and it's like, I really don't want those in there. I can just click undo and they're, it's undone. They're moved back out of that folder. Pretty cool. Okay, and then lastly, let me show you a couple other things. Um, if you look over here, you see where it says My Drive. I can click that little drop-down arrow, and I can see all of my folders like this. So this is just another view, another way of looking at things. Now, the presentations and the resources that I have in my board folder um, are really important because I need to access those sometimes if I'm doing a presentation to the board or maybe you have certain what things that are really important to you um, and you need a good quick visual to make sure that you can locate those quickly. So if I want to change the options for that folder I can simply right click it. Now if you um, are on a Chromebook right clicking remember is a two finger just tap on the touchpad and that'll bring up the right click options and then I can come down and change the color of that folder. So I'm going to change it to red because that's a really important folder. Um, so you can color code your files like that too. That helps to make them a little more visual, a little easier to see. So that's a really cool tip as well. Now, uh, you know that Google Drive, one of the great things about it is that the sharing is really simple with Google Drive. Um, so I can share entire files, folders, etc. with uh, an individual or groups of people. So let me show you a couple things um, to note. If you see a file that has a little um, sort of a bust icon, this little icon that looks like this little person, that means that that folder has been shared with someone. Now, if I put files into that folder, they're automatically shared with everyone who has sharing rights for that folder. And likewise, if I take it out, those folks lose access to that file. That could be really helpful when you're organizing files that you're working on with your class digitally. So for example, if I have some resources for students, things that I want them to work on together, I can create a folder and drag and drop those files into that folder and then share it with the students that I want to have access to it. Maybe you're using this for group work. Um, you've got your group students organized into different groups or whatever. It's really handy. If you don't see that file, that little um, icon on the file, then that means that is not a shared folder. And likewise, if people share resources with you, you can very quickly find those under shared with me. And again, remember, it, you know, it gets crazy. You know, after you get hundreds and hundreds of files, where are they? Remember, that search tool right there is super handy. And also, if you click this little drop-down arrow, you get search options. So you can specify to Google, look, I'm looking for a specific type of file. It's actually a presentation that I'm looking for. Um, and it's owned by anyone or owned by me or not owned by me, etc. And you can specify a little bit about how it's going to search and narrow down the search results a little bit. So hopefully that helps you get some ideas about the basics of Google Drive. A couple other things real quick. Google has added Google Photos. Um, that's fairly recent that they've added that. Um, so you can um, share um, important um, photos and stuff. That's great for students working on projects. You can upload them as photos um, if they have images that they've gone out and taken pictures of things um, and it makes it real easy to share those as well. You can also look at files that have been edited recently. Um, files that are important you can put a star on them just like you do in your Gmail and then of course there is the trash uh, file as well. Alright, so um, that said um, I think the last thing I'll show you real quickly is um, the info button. So I'm going to right click on this and I just want to know a um, little information about that file, a little preview. So I can click on details. Um, it's going to give me a preview of that file here. Um, I can look a little bit of information about it, who was the last person who edited it, um, where is it located, etc. And then I can even look at all the activity, who made edits to that slide and when they made those edits or, or that file. So um, that's all for this session or this presentation. Um, spend some time exploring Google Drive. 
First off, I highly recommend back up your important stuff to Google Drive. Um, that way you're not relying on a shared drive or a flash drive, no chance of uh, washing it in the washing machine. Um, and again, if your laptop gets hit by media or something insane like that, your files are still backed up in the cloud and you can access them. All right, that's all for this session, and I'll see you in the next one.